Hi everybody, Terry Slevin, Public Health Association. Big night in Canberra, 9th of May, budget night 2023. First big piece of news out of tonight's budget is the continued investment in the Australian Centre for Disease Control and Prevention, we hope. The announcement tonight is for $90 million and it's over two years and it's about getting the agency started up. Uh, this is the start of what we hope will be a very big castle when it comes to public health infrastructure in, in Australia for decades to come. So it's a starting point. We hope that's not where it's going to land. Uh, so we're enthusiastic to see that expanded in the future. Second one is tobacco and vaping, and we saw at the press club last week, Mark Butler making detailed announcements on that, uh, all of which are very welcome. It is genuinely a comprehensive package. The budgetary components of it include tackling Indigenous smoking, a really important ongoing program for tobacco control amongst our First Nations people, and we're delighted to see that continued and boosted. The second is about campaigns for the broader population, encouraging smokers to quit and vapors to do the same. So that's very welcome, and we hope the states and territories will dollar match with that. The third part is important component, cessation support for those people who are smoking and vaping to, to uh, tackle their nicotine habit. Uh, and we'll see how that one unfolds in terms of its implementation, but it's an important investment. Next piece of the puzzle is the National Preventive Health Strategy. We've been actively promoting that since its inception. Uh, still a little bit sad when it comes to the financial infrastructure, but we've seen a pathway, the tobacco and vaping piece is a component of that, along with uh, lung cancer screening, of course. Um, but we do want to see a greater investment in the future and a really solid commitment ongoing when it comes to the National Preventive Health Strategy. So what's next? The big challenge here is to make sure that we take advantage of this momentum when it comes to public and preventive health and build on it into the future. Really encouraging part of it has been the thinking and planning both around the CDC and tobacco and engagement with the states and territories. We know that's been a stumbling block. The relationship between the Commonwealth and the jurisdictions has always been an excuse and a, a, a place where public health programs have fallen down. We've seen clear intent to get that relationship right and genuine engagement with the jurisdictions. That's a pathway we should follow with other important public health programs, and that includes things like obesity. Nothing announced in this budget that we can see on that front, but there's a pathway forward, and that's what we're encouraged about. So the other reality is, of course, this is a, a government that's 15 months old. So it's, in, it's fair to not assume that or, or uh, ex expect the entire world to be fixed in 15 months. I think that's reasonable. But I guess recognising lots more to do in public health, obesity is the next mountain to climb and that's going to be a really important challenge. Uh, we'll be here to be constructive and supportive on that front. So this in truth is the most optimistic I've felt on budget night since I've taken this job in 2018. Um, lots more to do uh, and so we're delighted to be, to be enthusiastic about uh, the next stages.